shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Friday, it is the 29th of March, and I am just up dressed and about to get a delivery from Sainsbury's for my groceries, so I'm gonna take you through that. But first of all, I'm gonna take you through a quick physique update to show you where I'm at with my body and my physique. My weight is down to about 122.6 today, so that's great, um, it is dropping. My weight has been up and down over the last week because I've had my period and I've gotten back into my training, which can also have your weight up a little bit as water is drawn into the muscle. But I'm just gonna show you what I'm looking like. I feel Feel like I look a lot leaner despite my weight kind of staying in and around the same I feel a lot leaner which means I'm on the right path your weekly dose of Bailey and Roxy. Hello, 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 hello. Before I bring them out for a uh, W, because I'm not gonna say, because if they hear that they're too excited. I'm just gonna take you through my Sainsbury's delivery that has just come in. And it's a pretty regular weekly shop for us, um, covering fruit, veg, some snacks, and then we have some kids staying this weekend, so there are some treats in there too. Start up this end of the table, you can see. Ooh, that's about a week's worth of food and we will get through this in the week. So up here we have all kind of breakfast kind of things. So I've got some heck chicken sausages. I just really love these chicken sausages. They've got really good macros and they're very tasty. And you can add them into pastas as well. Um, so not just restricted to breakfast. Then we have some of the berry black pudding, love it. Black pudding is technically a superfood. Um, it might not be to everyone's liking, but me and Lex do love it. Then for Lex, we have some caramelized onion sausages and some pork and apple sausages. Now they're both gluten-free from Sainsbury's own brand and he just really likes them. They're a bit too fatty and full of carbs for me. And then he also has these cheddar and black pepper soft breakfast muffins. That tomatoes on them actually aren't too bad. For one, you have 4.3 grams fat, which is probably coming from the cheese, and then 22 grams carbs. And they're nice with poached eggs. So we have eggs here for our poached eggs and some like a big fry up for breakfast. Lex quite likes them. Then this is my go-to in the morning, my Flavin's Irish Quick Oats. Yes, you can get them in Sainsbury's. You can get them in a couple of supermarkets over here, but um, I do miss my Flavin's oats from home, so I always make sure to have them in the house. We've got some nice fresh fruit, raspberries and strawberries. Lex is into the raspberries, I'm into the strawberries, and we don't argue over it. We just are good. We're good. We're good. Um, we've got some mushrooms, because I love mushrooms, and they can go into breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything. For the kids that are coming to stay, I have some generic pancake mix and Nutella, which they will just have to eat all of it, so that's gone. It's gone, because I don't want this in my house. We have some spreads, so into the dairy section. I have cut back on my dairy a lot, so we have some curry made Irish soft butter for Lex, some Philadelphia for Lex, the full fat one, and then I got this lot lighter soft cheese, the garlic and herb, just Sainsbury's own brand, just as good as Philadelphia, and I'll use that like in pastas and things like that. We've got some of these light and free yogurts that Lex likes, they're lemon flavoured. I'm not into fruit flavoured stuff, so that will be for Lex. Then I've got the Kavarg vanilla, and this is pretty much what my dessert is most evenings. Some of this topped with something to make it yummy, usually some fruit. Then I picked up some of these little Weight Watchers yogurts. They're just handy little pots, really low macros, so just good for snacking on. 
Uh, Lex loves his hummus, so we've got some hummus for him and these Genius Protein Punch. They're kind of like a cracker, but they have really good macros. They're gluten free. There's loads of seeds and good stuff in them. So for one bread, which is pretty much enough for a serving, is 7.7 .7 grams fat and 6.6 .6 grams carbs, 4 grams protein. So loads of seeds and stuff, good stuff for Lex for with his caramelized onion hummus and he also has some celery sticks. I don't like celery, he likes celery so we get that for him. Then we have some double cream for in our coffees and then I've been making Lex cream spinach as well which he really likes. A bit too high in fat for me. We have some Greek, fat-free Greek yogurt. All of the supermarkets do their own brand of fat-free Greek yogurt, which is perfect for baking with and just generally for adding to things. That's why I always have it in the house for curries and things like that. Then we have my coconut almond milk from Califia Farms. Um, I like the chocolate one and it just gives it a kind of a mocha flavor to your coffee and has really good macros as well, dairy-free. Then we've got Lex's full-fat milk for in his teas and to be honest, he's really into milk right now. He's just been drinking it out of the carton like an animal. Um, we have some of the pumpkin. Now, a lot of you ask where I get my pumpkin from. You can usually get it in Sainsbury's, Ocado, um, and otherwise you can go to Amazon and pick it up. I know it's harder to come by in the UK. Uh, then I've got these Candrell Zero Drops, handy for in my handbag, and I just use these for sweetening my coffee when I'm out and about. We've got the sugar-free Ribena to encourage us to drink water. Um, I've got this Chipotle cooking paste, which pretty much macro-free, really handy just for adding in to foods to make it a little bit spicier. For snacks, we have some popcorn, the sweet and salty one. This is the nude one. I usually get the proper corn, but this will do for a pack. It's 1.8 grams fat and 8 grams carbs. So a handy little snack that fill you up without um, making too much of a dent in your intake. Then we have some chocolate, rice cakes, milk chocolate and dark chocolate. So. Again, pretty decent macros, 5 grams of fat and 13 grams of carbs, a nice little snack for on the go. Me and Lex both enjoy them. They're Lex's Jammy Dodgers. I do partake in a Jammy Dodger on occasion, but they're mostly for Lex. Um, we've got some of these sugar-free marshmallows. These are just to add when I have an options hot chocolate, and I just add them in on top to give it a little bit of a treat. But you don't eat too many of these because they are packed full of polyols and they can give you a dicky tummy so just be careful with them now into our veggies we've got some samphire which i have with cod and it's just really delicious it's like a seaweed type vegetable and um, it just really complements fish really well because it kind of has a salty taste to it i've got my asparagus because i love asparagus and it's really good for you and it's good for water retention i've got my butternut squaffles that's where i get them from is either sainsbury's or asda um, have them. We've got some mashed potato for Lex. As you know, I don't really like potato, so I'm not a big potato fan. We've yeah. got some sweet mini peppers, which are handy for salads or if you're just chucking into an omelette. We've got some of the bigger sweet peppers. I do like them to be sweet, my peppers, so we've got all them. And then we have some courgettes. So I make like little courgette fries, cover them in some of the Eat Lean powdered cheese that kind of is like a um, it's kind of like a parmesan. And then we have a cucumber portion because, you know, salads. So this Explore Cuisine, the uh, mung bean fettuccine, this is what I use when I make pasta. And a lot of the low carb pastas are just crap. They just don't taste like pasta. They have a weird consistency, but this, it's quite filling. It tastes, has a good pasta consistency and it tastes really good and it's packed <laughs> full of protein so for 100 grams it's 42 grams of protein 11 grams carbs and 7 grams fat so really good macros really fill you up and help you hit those macros so here is the treat section for Lainey. We have my Pepsi Max Cherry. Last week they subbed it for Raspberry Pepsi Max and not a fan of the raspberry one, I like the cherry one. We have um, some Martini Asti. If I have a glass of wine, this is my go-to. It's not too strong, it's fizzy and me and Lex both enjoy it. It's 7.5% alcohol and I just fit it into my macros. I love you. And then we have some of the dairy-free peanut butter cup Halo Top, just for a treat for me. So there's Lainey's treats for this week. So that is a pretty typical grocery haul for our household for a week. And I'm just gonna put it all away now and then bring 
said dogs out maybe have a coffee first wake up the husband that's my morning so i have just arrived at the gym as you can see the sun is beaming today and it's actually quite warm i brought the dogs on a big long walk getting my steps in i'm currently at four and a half thousand steps i'm going to go on a dog walk with my friends later as well so that'll be adding to my steps and i'm probably going to do some cardio later too and then later on this evening lex and i am going to see disney's dumbo which was a childhood favorite of mine but right now hitting the gym i've already done three workouts this week so i've kind of hit every body part already so now we will be going into kind of extra body parts today it's probably going to be my final workout of the week because i am out the next two days so getting all my workouts in four in this week going well and today i'm probably just going to hit up a full body workout get a bit of everything in and just burn it out for my final workout of the week and then back home to the pooches and this morning my pre-workout food i had a big bowl of oats i had some cocoa to it which makes it super chocolatey and then i added some chocolate chips on top again super chocolatey and it was just a delicious breakfast and then i had some coffees and got Lex's breakfast he's gone to black country barbell today i didn't i decided not to join him because i have my friends calling over so later we will meet up for our cinema date so off to the gym i go i hope you enjoy the workout and i will see you after Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm in from the gym with my little munchkins and I'm gonna have a coffee. I've changed into some summery clothes because it's actually quite warm out. Earlier in the week it was, not to be giving you a weather report, but it was sunny but like still cold. But today it's actually warm as well, so yay. Got my arms out. Maybe we can even out my tan from Portugal. If you didn't watch my Portugal vlog, um, you probably should go and see my ridiculous tan lines that I got. I'm gonna have a coffee, 
and a snack and wait for my friends to arrive. And rocks, you okay there? So when I got in from the gym, I did some laundry because it's beautiful weather, perfect weather for drying all my laundry. So got some laundry on and I did poop patrol in our back garden because Lex refused to. So if anyone follows Lex, go and comment on his Instagram and tell him to pick up the poop because it's not just my job, Lex Griffin. It's also your dog. These dogs poop for you as well. I literally had a grocery bag full of poo. It was gross, but someone had to do it because we need to sort out our garden and you can't do that with a load of poop in it. So on to a coffee, had dog walks, Lex is home and we're off to see Disney's Dumbo now. Just have breakfast and this is how we roll to the cinema in my handbag. I've got some Pepsi and some chocolate popcorn. Because I ain't paying cinema prices for snacks. And Lex is on the Jammy Dodgers. Dodgery goodness. So today is Saturday. After we got home from the cinema, I just flaked out on the sofa and watched a little bit more TV with Lex. But um, the movie Dumbo, pretty good. Not amazing. Not the best Disney adaptation I've seen, but it was pretty good and worth a watch. So today I am off out with the girls and I didn't want to just leave the blog blank at the end, which I sometimes do when I'm too lazy to do an outro. So this is my outro saying thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the content, the workout, physique update. Hope you got some great ideas from my grocery haul for what you can get from the supermarket. I'm off out now for a nice boozy brunch with the girls. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I will check you in the next video cuz if i only had a hundred fans i take a